Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm starting to work on this year's uh, Vacation Bible School things. Uh, the theme is going to be an island, uh, shipwreck, you know, that kind of thing. So this is a bunch of cardboard boxes from Christmas, as well as where people have been saving cardboard for me. What I'm going to do with this, as you can see there, I started rolling it up. What you're looking at, um, the rolls, is going to be a trunk to a palm tree. And then at the top, I will make a topper that will drop down inside. As you can see here, there's a hole. Okay, there will be like a dowel rod of some sort coming out of the bottom one. And then this one will slide right over the dowel rod. But as I start putting on the bark, we'll come back to this. I just wanted you to see the process I was going through. Instead of throwing away a lot of cardboard boxes, I started rolling them up. Now this one, because the palm tree is going to be kind of tall, I need a sturdy base. So this is going to be formed uh, into like a boulder uh, or maybe just a little clump, um, make it look like a sandy part of the beach, but it's going to be heavy. Um, I'm going to secure this plastic ring right here that I taped inside and um, around that I'm going to drop in some beans, rice, something that's going to give it some weight. Okay, because inside this little round circle is where the palm tree is going to slide right down inside that. And then I uh, will be doing some paper mache around that box to create the sandy look of a mound. Maybe that's what I'll go for instead of a boulder. Maybe it'll just be a mound of some sort. So this is how it's starting. Um, I just wanted to take you through the whole process with me, so I wanted you to see what I had done so far, trying to get those boxes out of my living room. So I sat and rolled them today. Okay, so again, this is the beginning of the palm tree. Doing a voiceover here because my video had errors. But basically, guys, you want to wrap uh, loosely some brown paper around the trunk. You want it loose so that you can scrunch it down to create your bark. You can either use, um, if you have leftover Christmas paper that has a brown back on it, just use the reverse side of the brown side to do that. Otherwise, I would suggest if you have a Dollar Tree, just grab a roll for a buck. It doesn't take much. And um, again, I can't stress enough, wrap it loosely. And over, you'll see my masking tape there where I had it taped together. Now you could glue it if you want, but I'm just going to put the masking tape to the back so it, it's not going to matter. Once you wrap your first or base part of your trunk, you're going to turn around and do the same thing to your middle section all the way up to the top, wrapping loosely and then scrunching. So um, depending on how much paper you have or, or how much scrunch, you know, texture you want there, um, just be your own judge at that point. Okay, got them all scrunched. Tapers off kind of at the top here. And all I have to do now is work on making the leaves and the topper. Then we can uh, attach the coconuts. But uh, the scrunched paper makes a really nice bark on the palm tree. Hey guys, now we're working on palm tree leaves. And um, I'm going to be using a real 
really uh, thick glue so I went with Aileen's original tacky glue I need larger sheets of green paper to make the palm tree leaves so I'm here at my paper mache station right now and I'm just gonna put some glue out on my fingers so I have a little more control and I want to adhere two sheets I don't want there to be any um, any gaps you know at the edges to where they may separate I need the leaf I need leaves you know so what I'm doing is getting as close to the edge as I can make sure they adhere nicely I'm just going to slide this up. And the reason I wanted to do this is um, if I wasn't careful, I wouldn't have both sides, both edges, underside and top side, glued down tight. And then when you start cutting the leaves and they start to fold over or bend a little, um, you would have these gaps popping up. And I didn't want that. So I'm going to glue several sheets together. That way, um, like this will probably be one. The full length of these two sheets could be one leaf once I start slicing into it to make the palm look. So, I um, just wanted to let you know how I was working on that because I work with what I have. I try not to go out and get, you know, paper products or whatever it is I might need. I'm just using regular colored paper. That way, when I cut it, uh, both sides are green. So, if the leaf does bend or whatever, I don't have white on one side, green on the other. Um, but anyway just to let you know how I'm getting such a long leaf. This is uh, this is what I'm doing. All right, and I'll bring you back. Okay, so what I did was just rough cut, and then I decided to try some wire to give it a little bit of stability. The only wire I had was floral. So I cut uh, five strips, put them together and cut a sixth one and wrap them into one wire because this is paper it's not going to take a whole lot to give it just a little bit of rigidity you know so that when you uh without wire for example what's paper gonna do it's just gonna lay over so put a little bit of wire in there and, and now when i turn it over it has just enough stability to hold it kind of straight with just a little bit of a bend, which is what I was looking for. So, just a tip there in case you want to do that. Another thing you could use would be a dowel rod or something like that. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and make a few more leaves. Once I get the topper ready to put on the palm tree, I'll bring you back. Okay guys, so we'll take another look at the palm tree. This scrunched paper making up the bark. And then I've added my leaves with the wire. The wire gives it just enough rigidity that they don't just flop completely down. And I'm not sure if the camera's picking up the coconut. So I'll go a little closer here with the coconut. What I did was put uh, the leaves and the coconut on dowel rods so that they slide down uh, inside the top of the tree. So it's actually three pieces um, that'll come apart. The bottom, the middle, and then the topper for easy storage or easy um, easy way to take it apart and travel with it. 
All right, so I hope you enjoyed the palm tree video, and I'll be back with the next one.